Who are you? What do you do? Start talking about those things because however crazy, weird, unique, however strange it might be or interesting it may be and however little you think that there may be a market for it, they're out there. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I am Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. All right, today's episode, which is episode 166 of the Sales Wolves podcast, we're going to talk about personal branding better late than never. And really, there's never been a better time for you to either launch or double down on your personal brand, whether that be um, as an individual, as an organization, as a group, as a company. So let's get right into it. You know, the key to being able to grow a following, the key to be able to target a demographic is knowing where they are. And the reality of this crisis that we're in, this chaos that has just swept across the world, is that we know where people are. They're at home. They are on their phones. They are on their computers. Uh, Traffic online is through the roof right now. And where are they going? They're going to social media. And what are they looking for? Answers. They're looking for subject matter experts. They're looking for things that interest that particular person. And so what better time to be doubling and tripling down on your efforts to put your message out there, to insert yourself as a subject matter expert in whatever that may be, to put out interesting information based around the things that you do that other people will be attracted to. And so if you look at this period of time, we also have a plethora of just that time. The majority of people have more time right now that they can devote to launching or building their personal brand than they've ever had. And so that's always been the excuse. Now it's not an excuse. And so what are we going to do with that time? There's a couple of things that I think are super important uh, as you begin to launch your personal brand. And these are things that I haven't talked about um, in depth uh, at least in a while, uh, but a lot of new things that have that have become very prevalent to me uh, in the importance of personal branding. And the center of it focuses around when people go to your page, when they go to your Instagram page, when they go to your Facebook page, when they go to whatever form of social media uh, that you are present on, they need to know what they're going there for. They need to know what they're expecting to get when they see a post pop up in their feed from you, they need to know when they go to your page, Oh, I'm going to to Tyler's page. I'm probably going to see something about this, or I'm going to learn something about that, or I'm going to be motivated by this, or I'm going to be inspired by that. So the first question is, what is that thing for you? What is that thing that people are going to get when they go to your social media? And for me, this process has really played out in a very different way uh, over the last couple of weeks. And it's really began this process of really discovering and, and, and having a greater understanding of who I am. And so I would highly encourage you go through this process of really discovering who you are and who you are in the different areas of your life. So let me give you an example. Let's say that one of the things that I am is a runner. I am a runner. Okay, well, well, what do runners do? They run, they train, they stretch, they, you know, focus on their diet and, uh, and the health side of what powers them and what fuels them to run. Uh, they have different types of training days, speed days, um, distance days, they have, you know, intervals, they do different types of things based around running. So if I'm a runner, 
then I want people to be able to come to my page and know what they're going to expect. They're going to expect to see a video of me talking about a certain aspect of running. They're going to talk about the knee over the toe. They're going to talk about breathing. They're going to talk about where your arms should be. They're going to talk about form. They're going to talk about, you know, different types of training that have enabled them to either, um, you know, speed up their, their mile time or has been able to en enable them to go longer distances or has created less fatigue and all of these different things. And when you go to that person's page, you should be able to pretty clearly say like, huh, that, that's a runner. That person is a runner. And so what is your runner? What are you? Who are you? And then how can you start putting out messaging, putting out content around that, which you are? Because what I know is being something on social media that you are not is exhausting and there's no exit strategy. Like you can't fake it forever. So deciding that right now you're going to become a, you know, health expert because there's so much crisis and so much desire and need for knowledge around how to handle this crisis that we're in with COVID-19, deciding that all of a sudden you're a health expert is not the right way to go. And quite frankly, we're seeing a lot of people doing that. They're having podcasts and discussions and putting out content and it's all health related, but they're not a health expert. So who are you? What do you do? Start talking about those things because however crazy, weird, unique, however strange it might be or interesting it may be. And however little you think that there may be a market for it, they're out there. And specifically right now they're out there searching for you. And so if you're a, you know, underwater welder, there are underwater welders out there that are searching for content around what they love. And that is underwater welding. And so it doesn't matter what that thing is. It doesn't have to specifically pertain to your business. I'm in the insurance business. You very rarely hear me talk about insurance on this podcast or on any of the content that goes out, which is a lot of content that has been created completely outside of insurance. That just happens to be one of the things that I do. And so we have to look at this time that we have this abundance of time that we have. And it's all about using that time wisely. It's very easy to, to get stuck in, to get stuck in a negative headspace and not get anything done, but doubling down and, and maybe for the very first time launching your personal brand is one of the greatest things that you could ever do during this period of time that we have, because let's face it, social media is not going anywhere. Our ability to get online and connect with people is only going to increase. And I can tell you, as we come out of this crisis, the desire for connectedness, the desire to be able to connect with people, even through the internet is going to only continue to increase as we move forward. And so the question is, what are you doing about it? Are you going to capitalize on the opportunity or are you going to waste the opportunity? Are you going to spend your time doing things that aren't productive, or are you going to invest your time into things that will be around forever? And this is one aspect that I do talk about often, but I would you know, be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that the content that you put out will live forever. The things that you say, the things that you post, that stuff will be around when you're not. And so I look at it from a, a standpoint of legacy and how do I want to be remembered? If I were to die today, how will people be able to find me, see me, remember me, know what I was about, know, you know, the purpose behind the things that I did and social media is the best place to be able to do that and to be able to broadcast that out for hundreds, thousands, millions of people to be able to take part in, engage with and form real relationships with. So all that to say, we have an abundance of time right now and you being able to get on your phone, get on your computer, start creating content with your iPhone. These don't have to be just beautiful, you know, aesthetically pleasing, you know, graphics with amazing copy. Real is the best. Real is always going to be the best. 
And so there's really no barrier to entry. You can pull out your iPhone, you can talk about a topic, you can post it and see how people respond. Obviously there's things that you need to Google about hashtags and about the different platforms and all of that stuff. And you have an abundance of time to do that, but do not waste this time that we have. Do not look back on this period of a month, month and a half, two months and think, man, I could have launched that podcast. I could have launched that brand that I've always wanted to launch. I could have started putting out content during that time period. And I, I just, I didn't. And I really don't even know why I'm telling you why you need to. And so now that you know that it's, what are you going to do with that? The last thing is for businesses that are out there and, and are struggling right now, because there's so many that your business has been devastated by this crisis. You can double and triple down on your efforts online to keep your presence at the forefront of people's minds and no, it may not bring in revenue today, but something that we've been telling our agents across the country is that you want to be the last thing on people's ears and the first thing on people's mouths when we come out of this crisis. So at the very least, if you've been putting out content and you have a social media presence, you do not need to disappear. But I would take it a step further and say that you need to double and triple down on that effort because now you know people are looking for it more than ever. They are on social media. They are online more than ever. Maybe the most in human history, I would imagine. And they're looking for you. There is somebody right now in some part of the world or just some part of this country that are looking for the message that only you can deliver. And I take that as a responsibility to put it out there. And whether you look at it as a responsibility or you just look at it as a means to an end, a way to drive more business now. And when we come out of this crisis, both are fine. Neither is right. Neither is wrong. But still the effort that you put in today towards your personal brand will bear fruit later. With that, this is episode 166 of the sales wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!